Okay, so we now look at the third question. Uh, there are some some properties relating to uh, xt. And first, uh, we have already proved that xt is a white side stationary. So what about whether it's a, side, a strict side stationary? We know that uh, that x, xt it's the in, can, can be considered as sort of an increment of the winner process. We already know that the inner or the winner process has uh, independent increments, which means that the probability of x <coughs> x t one equals minus one and minus two given can be can be written as the product of the two probabilities. So. Um, Therefore, uh, if you are taking the derivative of x x x one, we will get the we we will know that the <coughs> that the time shift doesn't affect the statistics of uh, the pro the stochastic pro process. So basically, you're tell basically uh, for any t for any t one uh, for any t x t or, or the x t are uh, independent random variables. So it is also a strict sense stationary. What about independent increments? Uh, it, it, it maybe is, uh, we could, uh, roughly speaking, we could uh, take, okay, uh, okay, we, we could write this. We could uh, de make a decomposition of this, uh, of this, uh, uh, of the intersection of these two sets. Okay, according to the, we know that the winner process also know that winner process has uh, independent increments. So uh, it gives you some some hint. So actually, we could get that uh, it's also a independent increment. So um, in, because independent in, uh, implies uncorrelated, so it's also a uncorrelated increments. As for orthogonal, uh, we write down the form of, of the judgment of orthogonal. We will find out that that this value, and this value is at, it should be related to the autocorrelation function of x1 X, uh, X T three. Uh, basically, there are four terms, but we we know this is, but this is not an equal function. It's decided by some, so uh, uh, it's decided by some by the difference of these uh, of these two time. So obviously, this is not an orthogonal increment.